What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to solve one-step equations which involve addition. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to look at these two questions here. And essentially we're going to follow the rule that we must isolate the variable by using the inverse operation. So what does that mean? Well, each of these number sentences has a number family. So for example, this first one, x plus 16 equals 38. We could also have 16 plus x equals 38. That's a sentence that's in the same number family. It uses the same three expressions. Or we could have 38 subtract 16 equals x or 38 subtract x equals 16. They are all number sentences in the same number family. So how can we use this to help us? Well, we are looking for the inverse the opposite expression. So the opposite expression, which then leaves the variable on its own, would be this one right here. 38 subtract 16 equals x. That is the inverse. So if we write it again at the bottom, 38 minus 16 equals x. Now we can solve to find x. 38 subtract 16 is 22. So 22 equals x or x equals 22. Okay, so that's one way of solving. I'm gonna show you a different way of solving for question two. And in question two, what we're gonna understand is that everything on either side of the equal sign must have the same value. So 54 will equal whatever is on this side of the equal sign. So remember, what I'm trying to do is isolate the variable. I'm trying to get this y on its own. And the only way to get this y on its own is by getting rid of this plus 20. But if I get rid of the plus 20 on this side, I must get rid of a plus 20 on the other side. So let's see what that looks like. So what I'm wanting to do is have my 54 equals y plus 20, but I'm trying to get rid of that plus 20, so I need to put a negative 20. And that means that I'm gonna to have to put a negative 20 onto this side as well. So I'll get rid of my 54, and I'll write 54 negative 20. And by doing that on both sides, I'm keeping my equation balanced, because that's the most important thing, to make sure that both things on either side of the equal sign remain the same. Now I can begin to solve, and I'm gonna focus on this right-hand side first. So y plus 20 minus 20 will just leave us with y because plus 20 subtract 20 is zero, or therefore just y. And then 54 subtract 20 on the other side, leaves me 34. So 34 equals y, or y equals 34. And there you go, let's just think of things to remember. First, we're gonna find the number families, then we're gonna look for the inverse operation, and then we're gonna use this inverse to isolate the variable, or if I'm doing it in this second method, I'm gonna isolate the variable by getting rid of whatever's attached to it, but whatever I do to one side, I must also then do to the other. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel, or if you're in year six and you're looking for some year six extra SATs help, you can find my free year six SATs course linked in the description below. But for now, peace out.